So I had some requests for how this works, easy up, easy down, that sort of thing. Um, I haven't got the wheels on it yet, so moving it around is not quite as easy as it would be, but uh, the wheels go on this uh, back end, so once it's all collapsed, it can be lifted and drug and towed and whatever pretty easily. Um, it's just basic pinch poplar, it's really light, it's maybe, I don't know, a couple pounds, not much. But, uh, I'll zoom in and show some pictures of these later. In my cuts, I've got a pin and a socket. You know, it's help lock it in place once it's up and ready. Basically, put my feet on the back legs, grab the front legs, and rotate into position. Find the sockets. Snap them in. That's basically set up. Um, I've got some pins that I'm going to make that hold the bellows on. Right now I'm just using a couple nails. But they tend to slide out after it's been worked. Um, there is a little bit of sway to it. It kind of goes away once the bellows is in place. I can also address that by adding just some uh, rope supports later on. <clears throat> Inside my bellows, on the center run, I've got the holes drilled into the sides. This center run comes all the way through and it's actually this, this bottom brace, so it's all one piece, so structurally it's sound. The nozzle in the top there. I just got to line up my pins. leather got a little worn on this side so it's in the way. But I'm going to put some metal caps on it too so that make it a lot easier. Those are in place. I've got a little ring that holds the, uh, the pump, the, uh, the rod for it. Right now I'm just using a piece of uh, patio paver. Generally, you'd have a rock. Sit on the sand. And I have a, a leather gasket that I wrap around here that actually goes into the nozzle on the bellows. So it's not a, a perfectly secure connection, but it really doesn't need to be. The heat doesn't come back much at all past that brick. Uh, right in the middle of work, I could touch it. It wasn't that high. It's got, I've got an upright. And then my lever, my upright, goes into my little socket that I put on there. This could have been a lot prettier, but I was in a rush. This is all kind of temporary. Pins in, I got a good pivot, which is still loose so I can adjust it wherever I want to stand or how far away I need to go. Back in the bellows, I've got a steel pin. I'll just get it so it's actuated a little bit. Put a quick tie on it. It's ready to go. That's it. I pour about 50 pounds of sand in and that fills up this area. It's about 2 foot by 18 inches with about a 4.5 5 inch depth. And that one bag of sand uh, will fill it up almost completely. The bellows works wonderfully. One pump to prime it, and it'll automatically continue to feed. Or if I really want to force some air and get a good heat, if I'm working on something particular, I'll keep that top chamber prime and force directly from the bottom chamber. Works really well, uh, amazingly well. Uh, it was the first attempt. I just went off a couple photos online. Uh, I have no idea the cubic feet per minute this thing puts out, but it's enough to keep a good fire going.
uh, that's set up, and I'm up and running. Um, tear down is just as easy. String off, lever off, tip it out. Support the bellows. It's good to go. Basically, that's it. Pins pop right back out. Lays right down a lot quicker with a lot of weight on the end. The good thing is, I don't have to dig all the sand out if I don't want to. You just dump it. Simple as that. That's it.